Hi, sisters and brothers. Okay, so I received um, a word yesterday, uh, June 1st, 2017, uh, 8.24 p.m. And, um, okay, my child. Write down my words with those in which I have given eyes to see and ears to hear. I have called each and every one of you here in this place and time for a reason. Each of my children are so unique. Oh, excuse me. Each of my children are unique. So each calling that is given is unique. Now I have paired you with other brothers and sisters, specifically also for a reason. Well, my bride, you are about to know and understand these reasons. I ask for your loyal obedience. I ask for your complete faith and trust in me and that I will accomplish all I have said that I would accomplish. My precious children, you either trust me completely or you do not. If you still struggle with putting your 100% trust and faith in me, no matter what, that's okay. Just come to me. Be willing to let go and let me take hold. Be willing to lay everything down that is blocking your total trust and faith, and I will do the rest. You do not even have to know what it is that is causing you to not trust in me completely, as long as you are willing to surrender all to me. I can and I will do the rest. Time is so short now, my children. I want all to let go, surrender everything, and come to me. I want all to come into my love, and I want all to experience what many others have already experienced. The complete and total peace of surrendering and completely trusting in me, knowing that no matter what, I always have everything and everyone in my control. Jehovah, I am all that I am. Okay, brothers and sisters, so, you know, uh, he gave this to me after, even I, every, every one of us struggle with, you know, doubt, <laughs> you know, none of us are perfect, uh, and never will we be perfect, um, but I know there's been a lot of talk, you know, uh, I truly believe we're, we're leaving at any moment, you know, uh, Pentecost, around Pentecost, you know, whenever, I, that, that's what I believe, that's what I had a strong, strong, you know, trust and faith in. Well, here recently, I've heard a lot of people say that, um, you know, uh, uh, that we might have to go through darkness or some might be left here to go through the darkness. Um, some of the barley harvest might have to go through the dark, some of the darkness, uh, that we need to be prepared because what is coming is, uh, you know, worse than, than anything ever before. And if we're not strong and, and, and tethered to God, then, then we won't make it. You know, so I've heard all these things in the past several days and the enemy really worked his way in on me. You know, he's like, I'm thinking, I thought we were done. I thought we were over. Uh, what is this now? Uh, 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 you know, and I started, you know, having trust issues and, 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 and all of us do it, you know, right? But we can't do that. You know, I have found that uh, last night I finally said, you know, and, and I was so depressed too, thinking that, you know, maybe we've got a little bit more time or, you know, and, and I shouldn't be like that, right? 
and, and so that was just the enemy. He, he was, you know, getting his licks in. But um, finally, last night, I just said, you know what? And I threw up my hands. I said, God, you know, I thought we were done. But hey, if we're not, your will be done. You know, your will be done. I am still going to watch and wait, and I am still going to uh, be expectant of your return at any day now. And, um, you know, since then, <laughs> since surrendering everything and, and let letting go, I have felt just it's indescribable. And I forgive me, my son is hollering in the background, so I'll have to hurry this. Um, but it's indescribable. You know, the peace, the, you know, I, I still believe that we are leaving in this time frame. I don't quite understand uh, the rest, but hey, you know, we don't always understand God's, in fact, we, for me, I hardly ever understand God's plans, right? You know, so when we get there, we will. But right now, he needs our complete trust and faith. You know, he has reassured me there's nothing, nothing to worry about. That I, I myself, and, 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 you know, everyone, but that, that I have nothing, I just need to relax. There's nothing I need to do. There's nothing I need to prepare for. No food, no water, no, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, I just need to stay in his love, stay in his complete trust and faith, you know, and keep that in him. And everything will be fine. You know, so I, I was, you know, terrified because I thought, well, maybe, maybe we're not done. Maybe we've got this huge thing that's coming that we really got to have more fire in us, really got to have more anointing, you know, but that's not the case. And, and, and I'm not saying that that, that is not, not the case. I'm just saying we don't know. Only he knows. We just put our complete trust and faith in him. And he will do the rest. And like he says, if you are hesitant, just be willing. That's all he asks. Just be willing to surrender and let go of everything. And he can and will do the rest. I love you all so very much. Shalom.